Lastly, I just want to make you aware of some other engine configurations. So, the reality is that modern commercial aircraft engines can be even more complex variations on the turbofan idea. So one of these, which is found in many modern Rolls-Royce engines, is to have a three-spool, and a spool is just sort of another word for shaft and the things that are on each shaft. So a three-spool engine. So schematically, this looks something like this. Still have the fan at the front, and there's a long shaft going to a low pressure turbine at the back. There's also typically a low pressure compressor. Then there's the next shaft, which has an intermediate pressure compressor. connected to a intermediate pressure turbine. Then there's another shaft, which has a high pressure compressor and a high pressure turbine. And in between is the burner. So we have a high pressure turbine, intermediate pressure turbine, low pressure turbine, the burner, the high pressure compressor, the intermediate pressure compressor, the low pressure compressor, and the fan. And of course the fan has stators as well. Finally, there's one more configuration, which is the newest configuration being used, which is the geared turbofan. And this is a Pratt & Whitney design. So this is an alternative way of further decoupling the fan speed from the core. So it combines some of the ideas from a turboshaft engine into a turbofan engine. So we have a bypass duct, fan, a gearbox, And then a low pressure compressor. Usually this is a planetary gearbox. Low pressure compressor shaft goes to the low pressure turbine. And there's a second shaft with a high pressure compressor. Then the burner and a high-pressure turbine. So the core is something like this. So again, this is the LPT, HPT, the burner, high-pressure compressor, low-pressure compressor, and the fan. And this allows the low pressure compressor and the fan to operate at different speeds and also allows the low pressure turbine to spin faster and therefore uh, potentially uh, achieve higher efficiencies. And uh, in this way, it's possible to go to very low fan pressure ratios um, with a very high bypass ratio, which is a good way to achieve a very high propulsive efficiency.